Hey, it's Buckets Jeremy, or do you want to slide into me, Spagoon Lizard here? Come to a video. In this video, <coughs> I am going to be drawing three new dragons and my submission for this month's Pop Cross Community Redraw. So, without further ado, let's roll on short, let's get into this video, and let's go. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, man, that was last night. Ugh, what happened? I feel like a, ugh, I feel like a hangover. Is it? Ugh, I don't really remember drinking anything. Okay. Ugh. 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 Here's the book. Let's see. Uh. Oh, here we are. Uh. Okay. Soul Reaper and Grim Soul Reaper dragons. Yeah. And the Soul Reaper are drakes. This is very interesting. Let's see. According to this. Uh, the Grim, the Soul Reapers, are by far some of the more aggressive dragons. They have the ability to rip souls out directly out of people's bodies with little or no effort. Now, that soon is pretty busted. Although, they're only around the size of your average siege strike, being hatching out the egg at around one foot long. That's a big freaking egg. And... And they grow up to be around uh, 15 feet long. And uh, what I encountered, I remember very hazily, is around 20. Not to self. Bring in something that can counteract a soul siphon attack. I should have the ability to counteract it next time. But on the bright side, I now I know I can't deal with an overseer or half overseer soul. Uh, okay. And their weapons, the tails are mostly used as to make things, to make size called soul size. Pretty much people that have these weapons have the ability to, well, steal people's souls by slashing them with it. Uh, if I remember correctly, I said you remember seeing a weapon like that before. I don't believe these things existed. That was another the reason, because they're nearly extinct. But according to this, they thrive in deep, dark environments. I don't really go into caves that far down. But they also survive, like most dragons and drakes, in mountaintop areas. Now, I think if I remember correctly, said they, live, they grow up to 15 feet in length. <clears throat> Big motherfuckers. Okay, the motherfucker. I crumble this one's going to be in the arsehole. Wait, this is interesting. I never read this again. And it said the... These, um... What were they called? The Soul Reaper Dragons are that of... A mellow... Or a mid-tier. I never heard of this ranking system before. There's low tier, mid tier, high tier, power tier, and ultra tier. Well, powerhouse tier, I just know it's power for short. Mellow tier, that's interesting. But then high power, that's where this one's located. He's strange, that explains because they have a decent amount of power output. But according to this, these, um, what were they? Grim Soul Reaper dragons, or Grim Soul Reapers, are very few and far in between, like only around a hundred known sightings, but only one, I don't know, 50 confirmed sightings. But I don't even remember hearing something like that before. Ugh, boy. And that thing says here's a high power. That's gonna be a nightmare. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. oh, what? This is a new species. Oh, 
what's that box say? Right here. Huh. This is an interesting one. This is known as the Creeper's Man. This is known as the Reaper's Manual. But it has some other species. Why? Why didn't see this part right here? According to this, this is a, um... A mainly... Reaper's Manual. A Reaper's and uh, Extra Manual. Crap. I don't know why this thing is so dangerous. Catalogs of some of the most dangerous monsters and dragons in general. Well, that's fitting. Let's see. Um, power level. Well, it's only a mellow tier, but they are make up for in large numbers. According to this, this thing is known as the Serpent. Serpentine Worm Glider. Or the Serpentine Glider for short. And according to this, they have a really nasty bite. They can corrode flesh within a matter of minutes. Warning, do not seek the anti-venom because it would just most likely kill you faster. Best way to cure it is with bark from a rare tree known as an eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Never heard of that. <sighs> okay. The way to find these trees is with, of course, a talon of a soul reaper. The leaves are very, the leaves are seeds and are really easy to grow, but they're really, really hard to farm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this drawing, it was a difficult drawing to come up with. And, yes, I only really came up with the idea because it was more of a joke than anything else. The, um, Armadillo Crocodillo. I just basically came up with this idea earlier whenever I was talking to someone and saying that I still needed to come up with an idea. And I, just out of the blue, I came up with an idea for a um, prehistoric relative to both a crocodile and an armadillo. Because if you look at a crocodile, they are pretty heavily armored, just like alligators. But, hey, for some reason I just thought crocodile. And it actually relatively worked out. The color scheme could have been tweaked a little. And the, um, mouth, but... It's a little weird. It's my, actually my one of my first times actually ever working with a actual crocodile drawing. But, as far as I can tell, it came out pretty well and came actually out a lot better than what I was hoping for. The um, only really thing I don't really like about it is this, really just the fact that the size of some or that one like ear eye part. It's pretty inconsistent with the um, drawings. But over other than that, I mean, it's a halfway decent drawing, in my opinion. But let's just say that... <sighs> let's just say that um, I could have used more time to work on it. I, this one was really kind of a rush job. I wanted to get into this the drawings into this video. Because I didn't have anything else planned out for this week. That would actually seem very fitting for this video. For, well, my submission, anyways. But, I gotta say that what I did actually ended up coming out pretty well. And overall, it was actually a very fun design. Um, the second pose, the, um, at rest pose, it's pretty much just inspired... From when armadillos just curl into a little ball for like protection. I took the idea for that one to be at for the at rest pose because of simply the fact that it just seems actually relatively easy to draw. And I wanted to draw the um the big main body for the last drawing. And I'm only just now realizing that um the really, really difficult part of this was coming up with the, um, 
the actual size of the of the um I nearly said dragon of the actual creature. Now I could have easily fixed this, but eh, again I didn't really know. The only real size I should have actually made this thing the um ball like structure bit a little bit bigger, so it would actually make more sense. For the um, size of it. But. Hmm. Other than that. It came out a really well designed bit. And overall. I'm actually quite proud of how it came out. It just took a little bit longer than I would. Actually like to admit. To come up with such a simple idea. And actual drawings. But. <clears throat> Hey, this part was actually relatively simple. The, um, not this part, the, the, um, actual full-length body is what took me the longest and kept tripping me up. It's because I never really came up with a good idea for how big the, um, creature actually is. Let's just say that mixing a crocodile and armadillo together is not very fun. And originally, I... In the second drawing, for the record, I originally just had that, like, going to be a black circle or nearly just pure scales. But I just decided to put little, like, cl like little teeth in there, showing it's their claws. But, eh, it's actually relatively interesting. It's actually a very, really smart idea. Now, this last bit actually took me around, if I remember correctly, 25 minutes or so. It, was, it took me a little while to actually draw this one. Okay, for the head, two head designs, um, the one with the open mouth and one with the closed mouth, it took me 14 minutes, 13 minutes for the um, curled up design, and 24, actually, for the um, actual full length body. And I can imagine these things standing around the length of a salt raw, saltwater crocodile, because those things are just utterly massive. And I can see this thing weighing around at least a few tons, maybe three. Or possibly one or two on the lighter side. Now, <clears throat> I can also see it using its um, back tail spikes as like a defense. Also, it's a, if I remember correctly, a saltwater crocodile can move around 20 miles an hour. So maybe like 25 for this thing because it's just, it's actually relatively light. It should be actually relatively lighter because of the um, actual design. But I can imagine this one is more of a nuisance for, um, for people who, well, for what was Texas back then. So, other than that, this is my drawing from the podcast community redraw. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, because I'm afraid that's all the time I got for today's video. Until next time, though, subscribe to you, join the podcast, me, or do my songs. Goodbye, and peace out, everyone.